Welcome back. You're watching Election Highway with me, Akanksha Swaroop. In fact, let's quickly bring you some breaking inputs we are getting in from Telangana. This, of course, is with regards to the fake video that was featuring uh, the Home Minister Amit Shah. And now, with regards to the summons being issued to Telangana's Chief Minister, Revan Reddy, we are getting in a reaction from the Telangana Chief Minister. In fact, he's gone on to say that he's mightily surprised that, uh, the, that uh, Prime Minister Modi is using uh, the Delhi police this time after in fact, uh, uh, unleashing the Enforcement Directorate, the CBI and even the income tax against the opposition parties. Remember, earlier during the day, we also informed you about uh, the various arrests that are being made with regards to that deep fake video that has been circulating on social media featuring the Home Minister, Mr. Amit Shah. And FIR has also been lodged with regards to that entire case. And the latest breaking input that we're getting in is that the Telangana CM has also reacted to this breaking news story. Let's quickly uh, play out that reaction of the Telangana Chief Minister before we quickly bring in our reporter Swastika Das. But in fact, Swastika continues to stay with us. Swastika, give us a sense of what has been the Telangana CM's allegation exactly. Well, the first from Chief Minister Raven Reddy, who is campaigning in Karnataka, remember, he's saying that after misusing allegedly EDIP and CBI. Now the Modi government is resorting to Delhi police to target opposition leaders. He says that just a while ago I got news that uh, certain social media personnel in Gandhi Bhavan, which is Hyderabad headquarters of the Congress, have been issued notice over alleged video of Amit Shah. And he also goes on to show that, say that uh, there are attempts to arrest me as well in the capacity of Telangana Chief Minister as well as TTCC. He goes on to say that we are not afraid. This is a tactic which is not new to the opposition leaders. This is a tactic used by the Modi government to target opposition leaders. And in that same breath, he says this is an attempt to arrest me as well over what he calls a perpetrated video of Amit Shah. While also reiterating in that same campaign that the BJP is trying to take away the reservation of SC, STs, OBCs and also Muslims if voted to power, thereby cautioning the voters in Karnataka where he was campaigning earlier today. All right. All right, many thanks to you, Swastika, for bringing in all that latest information on this breaking news story. On that note, let's quickly bring you back to Vadodara. Remember, the Bharatiya Janata Party has a stronghold over here. As I also informed you earlier, it was this constituency that Prime Minister, uh, in fact, won his Prime Ministerial victory from. But now they have Hemang Joshi, who is the youngest BJP candidate fighting from the Vadodara constituency. And uh, he, of course, has big shoes. Thank you for watching CNBC TV 18. For all the latest news and updates, do follow us on our social media platforms. Thanks for tuning in to CNBC TV 18. And for more news and updates, follow us on all the social media platforms.